Hey guys and welcome to another under five minute reviews and today we're looking at the uh, Darth Vader by Gillen and you guys uh you might know I've already I did a review for the other one there's another one of these Vader books excuse me uh this one right here by uh, Charles Soule and uh as you know I love this and I have to tell you I love this too let me just show you this wraparound artwork first because I think it's brilliant. And uh, let's delve into it. Why do I love this? It's, um, I, I thought hard about this because the, the soul book is brilliant. It takes place after episode three it's like Vader crafting a saber and stuff. And it's like the things that happened essentially right after episode three. And it's really good. But this, this takes place after the uh, Death Star has gone down. And it kind of follows like repercussions of those events. Not, it, the really cool thing is it's it, it follows the scope. It shows you how how much that actually hit and hurt the empire not just from a military aspect but from a political one as well and um it's really awesome it really is this i think for me it comes down to the scope and just the fact that the cast is bigger like luke Leia and Han appear in this. They are nowhere near being the main characters, but you kind of do, they fall into it because Vader wants to get Luke right. He's the guy who shot down and the the the, the Death Star, and he becomes obsessed with him in a way, and then he figures out who he is. And they fall into the the chapter into the several uh, issues, and they fall out of it again. But it's like that little peak. It just it just reminds you that this this is in Star Wars universe, and I think that might be what it is for me because I think online generally, like in the forums and stuff, people love the soul and for good reason. Like that book is banging, and I love that book. But few people preferred this one, I feel like, over the uh, the Charles Soule book. And I, I prefer this one. This one introduces Dr. Afra. It's got Silo. It shows you several things to do with, like, Vader, where his suit comes from. So many questions that get answered. You, you, like I said, it, it delves into deeper aspects of not just the relationship between the empire and the civilizations it rules over the planets it rules over and how that's more tense and this like you know doubt if you say if you will building up but it also it also delves into into vader's the way he sees his role and it shows you when the questions begin. And I think that's really cool because I feel like in the movies, that's that's one aspect that you don't get shown, which is kind of like the birth of the questioning of the Emperor by Vader. You know, it, it, it you don't see that in the movies. In here, you do. When he finds out, you know... It shows you how he finds out, like, you know, that Amidala, you know, she was pregnant. And the kids didn't die, you know. Obviously, he knew she was pregnant, but, you know, the fact that the kids didn't die. And you get shown how he figures that out. And how he questioned, and he's like, all of a sudden, you know, his plan that you hear him talk about in uh, uh, Return of the Jedi was like, join me, you know, we'll be the new Empire, you know, I will, you know, you see where that idea comes from with Invader. 
you know and it, it, oh man it's so good guys like if you love i mean i'm sure these books come and go i mean i saw someone the other day talking in front of that charles soul book is going for like 200 quid or something insane um but this is goddamn good and this is better so i i haven't checked prices or anything this book covers a lot but like in my opinion maybe if you're even more of an old school star wars fan so like if your favorite movies are four five and six the ogs this this might be where you want to go with for vader now, I'm not saying don't get the other one, because the other one's freaking glorious as well. But, this book, goddamn. Like, if, you're, if you love Star Wars, man, I think this is amazing. And another thing that it does is, like like I said, Dr. Aphra. This is where she gets introduced. And I have the, the Aphra Omnis, the two of them. And this made me so happy that I did get them. Because if the writing of her, about her, is like the way she is represented in here, it's going to be freaking amazing. I can't wait to read those. So, uh, yeah, guys. Not, not a glorious... This one's my favourite, though. Like, straight up. Go get this. But, yeah. Uh, if you like the video, like and a sub. Thank you.